Welcome everyone! In today's video, we're going to look at China all-new $10,000 EV car shocks the entire EV industry, the K27, one of two compact electric vehicles made by Chinese automaker Candy, will be sold in the US for just $10,000 after federal tax credits. But if you want that incredibly low price, you'll need to move quickly. But before we proceed and dive in full details, if you're new to this channel, remember, go ahead and to hit the bell icon to subscribe so you won't miss the informative videos we will upload in the future. Now get ready and make sure to stay tuned till the end as we dive right into the video. China All-New $10,000 EV Car Shocks The Entire EV Industry The initial cost of the little automobile is anticipated to be $17,500 for the first 1,000 buyers making it eligible for a $7,500 tax credit for the majority of consumers. Later purchasers will pay $19,800 or $12,400 after the tax credit. The cost may be considerably cheaper for individuals because several states additionally provide additional tax incentives for the purchase of new electric automobiles. However, buyers should carefully consider what they are obtaining for that incredibly low price. The firm claims that the K27 can travel 100 miles on a single charge. The range of Candy's vehicles may not be comparable to official EPA ranges of other electric vehicles since they are not yet listed on the fuel economy.gov website of the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency. Additionally, it's still not apparent how dependable and safe these automobiles are. The Candy K27 gets that far at least in part, because its modest 18 kilowatt hour battery pack is not overworked. The car's peak speed is only 63 miles per hour, and its electric powertrain only produces 27 horsepower. Candy America CEO Johnny Tai acknowledged that the K27 takes some time to attain its top speed due to its underpowered power plant. The company's vehicles have not yet been given a test drive by CNN Business. According to him, the K27 is designed to be an urban errand runner that is one or two steps above an electric motorcycle. According to Tai, it is not anticipated to serve as a daily driver capable of transporting a family on protracted road excursions. Candy provides the K23 to clients who want something more akin to a real car. Candy defied more than a century of convention in the auto industry by ranking its larger, more expensive automobile lower than the smaller, less expensive model. According to Tai, the numbers have nothing to do with the model size or sophistication but simply the time when they were first released. According to Candy, the K23 has a top speed of 70 miles per hour and a driving range of 188 miles in addition to being roomier. It's 1.7 feet longer. The K23 weighs more than 680 pounds more than the K27 because its battery pack is almost twice as large. The business said in an email that while if the motor's overall power isn't significantly higher, it offers a very different kind of performance than the one in the K27. However, Tai acknowledged that this car won't be particularly fast. After the federal tax credit, the first 1,000 K23s will cost roughly $20,000, which is twice as much as the K27 but still reasonable compared to most other electric vehicles on the market. Approximately $30,000, or $22,500 after the tax credit, will be the price once the first 1,000 units have been sold. There is still a lot about candy that is unknown to potential American purchasers. Along with the car's performance, dependability and safety are still up for debate. In order to take care of its clients' cars, Candy America announced a partnership with Wrench, a business that offers on-site auto repair and maintenance services. The vehicles also come with a four-year, 50,000-mile standard warranty in addition to the legally required eight-year battery guarantee. The safety of the autos is yet unclear. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, to which Ty made reference, has certified Candy, who is always our top priority. Similar claims have been made by Candy in the past, and she has cited the company's certification or approval by the NHESA as evidence of the vehicle's safety. But things don't work like that. 
The NHTSA does not certify businesses or vehicles. Manufacturers are required to certify that their products comply with all applicable federal motor vehicle safety standards and must ensure they are free of safety-related defects, according to a statement from NHTSA. According to Coleman Sachs, a consultant for the auto industry, NHTSA does not proactively test vehicles before they are put on sale in the U.S., though the organization may review them later to guarantee compliance. According to Candy, its vehicles have successfully passed crash tests in China where they have been employed for car sharing services. According to a Candy spokeswoman, since 2007 automobiles have been produced in China. According to the spokeswoman in an email, the new K23 and K27 are comparable to older Candy models that are still on Chinese roads but have not yet been released. However, CNN reporters in China were unable to locate any records of crash tests of the K23, K27, or other candy models in China despite the company's advice. Despite many requests from CNN, Candy refused to disclose its own evidence of crash tests based on either Chinese or U.S. testing standards. Tai refused to comment when asked if the new candy car's crash test ratings will be comparable to those of other cars sold in America the majority of which have four- and five-star crash test ratings on NHTSA's safercar.gov website. He responded, I don't think that we want to compete with Tesla or anyone. For those who are thinking, hey, I want an electric car, I want to do good for the environment, but I also want to save money. We want to create a new category. By the end of this year, U.S. customers should be able to purchase the K23 and K27. Initially, Candy had intended to launch the vehicles in the Dallas-Fort Worth, Texas region before progressively expanding its dealership network across the U.S. After receiving significant interest from dealers all around the nation, the company is now speeding those plans, according to Ty. Currently, lawsuits are being brought against Candy America's parent firm, Candy Technologies Group KNDI, for restating results in financial reports between 2014 and 2017. The corporation has denied any willful misconduct and claims the restatements, which had no appreciable impact on the company's apparent financial results, were just the consequence of accounting mistakes. Before opting to temporarily only import the K23 and K27, the company had considered importing other models to the country, according to Tai. Another candy vehicle, the Coco, an electric vehicle with styling reminiscent to Demler's smart car, was previously offered for sale in the U.S. According to Tai, future choices about further automobiles and SUVs have not yet been decided. He claimed that the business has no plans to become more upscale and begin offering more expensive vehicles. Tai stated, we aim to offer a better value. That's what we're looking for, so we'll keep searching. That's all for today's video. Thanks for watching till the end. Comment below with your answer and let us know. Will you buy China Eva car? Don't forget to like the video and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any new videos from our channel. Thanks for watching and see you all soon.